hey guys welcome back so guys in this video we are going to continue our firebase laravel series where now guys we are going to edit and update the data in our real time database guys so guys, let's get started so first let's move to this our contacts where we have shown this data at this table so let's move to our application and at this index file we have this edit button guys which is over here available okay so now let's create a path where url open function edit contact slash give dot dollar key so this key we have getting from this contacts okay so this key means this will throw your this keys okay this is your child's so those data you will get over here and yep guys so let's check it over here refresh and click on edit perfect so edit contact with the key now let's create a route guys copy go to your web.php create a route using get method where edit contact forward slash open and close your id and move to your controller so let's move to the same controller that is contact controller and now guys let's move to the edit function so let's go to contact controller and create a edit function move below so public function with the edit function function where you are getting dollar id so this dollar id you are getting from your parameter okay let's get back return view where inside my firebase folder contact folder i want to edit blade file okay so let's go resource views firebase contact inside this contact i need a edit dot blade dot php file and the form seam form will be using it so which form i'll show you at this so we are going to use this add contact form for editing the form okay so let's get back control a control c and paste it that's it let's change few things edit contact and this is the back button so let's keep the same thing and update contact okay guys let's see the output guys first so get back let's click on edit you can see edit contact perfect so now let's get the data of this key or id so let's move to our controller and we will tell dollar key is equal to your id so this id which you are getting from it it's a key and you need to get the data from where your database so let's go to our documentation and you can so let's check below okay so we are going to get something like this with the child keys so let's use this only guys let's click on retrieving data retrieving data let's copy this paste it here and the reference is our table name so dollar this of table name so this is defined at the top guys under our constructor method and the database you have defined as this dollar this database so let's give this database connected and your table name is also connected guys and now you need to get your child keys so your keys so what is this key called as child key so here returns your relative path so let's use this get child function get child function let's send this key and then guys after checking all this id we need to get the values so you can get the value also by using this get value function perfect so now 
this is your edit data where let's pass this in if condition if it is present like that data then you will send this data in a compact function take this edit data and send it else if id is wrong any key child is someone have missed with that so at that case you need to tell contact id not found that's it so guys now let's take this data and go to edit blade file let's move and over here in the input fields we are going to call that value attribute and send that dollar edit data of what your f name f name copy this paste 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 done let's make it a name and next post phone and this is email so these fields are nothing but your database column fields okay so you can find it over here now let's refresh perfect guys so now let's change and uh, save to update when we update the data we need to update with this id so first change this name to update and the route update contact dot dollar key so this key from where you will get you will get from your controller so let's send that in compact function so this dollar key send that done guys so now let's see refresh so now let's click on update you'll find that update with the id okay so now let's create a route guys and submit this data so copy this go to your web.php create a route colon colon using put method we are going to update the data so update contact where you are sending the id that is your key at this controller so let's copy this controller move to the update function so you are using put method right so you need to add that at method single quote put put i have used capital save let's get back create a update function in your contact controller public function update where you are going to get all the request so request means your input field requests so request and you are getting a id also from your parameter url okay so this id let's go to this update and now guys let's update the data so guys let's get back to our documentation where under this saving data you'll find update specific fields okay so you can use this where is it here update data okay so these are your updates with the url also you can update and okay so let's use it guys let me just type update function okay so we are over here let's get this data copy and paste it all set so first set up your database guys so this dot database and your table name dollar this of your table name okay so this database and table name you get from your constructor method okay table name and database perfect so now inside this update data we need to send all the data so let me just copy from the post paste it so these are your all 
all are your requests this form request okay first name last name phone and email from the edit method you are going to get using post method okay so this store of post data give update data and send here update data perfect and now guys you need to update with the specific field so for that case you are going to use concatenate over here and give forward slash dollar key okay so this dollar key you will get from this dollar id okay so this dollar id you are getting it and storing into key and sending that table so this will be my contacts table forward slash with the key perfect now you can tell response of updated is equal to check in a if condition if this data is successfully stored updated then you can show the message contact updated successfully okay else you can just show contact not updated successfully perfect guys so now let's test it guys let's refresh once so from Vait Prakash I am going to Vait Prakash N and change this phone number to 666-555-M44 let's update and contact updated successfully so data is updated successfully over here as you can see that phone number is updated and initial is also added okay so let's see in database perfect so phone number is updated and data also is added let's edit this third data so narendra gauda we will update this update perfect some from modi to gauda it has updated so guys we have successfully done how to edit and update the data in our real-time database of firebase php so guys thank you for watching this video let's continue next video with the delete option so thank you once again guys please subscribe like and share